Hello, magandang araw sa lahat. Uh, magiging topic po natin ngayon ay polymorphism. So, ano nga ba ang polymorphism? So, ang polymorphism may isa po ito sa pillars ng OP. May mga pillars kasi ng OP like encapsulation, inheritance, abstraction, and this, the polymorphism. So, requirement pa ng tutorial na to is mag-install po kayo ng Java kasi ito po yung gagamitin natin. Actually, marami pong mga programming language ang nag-a-apply ng OOP pero ang pinakagusto ko po yung Java. So, para makasunod po kayo sa tutorial na to, download po kayo ng Java and then set up nyo sa computer environment nyo para ma-recognize ng computer nyo yung Java compiler and the Java runtime environment. Okay? Um, oh, may pre-prepare po akong slides dito. Follow nyo lang po yung mga references ko. So, ito yung mga primary sites na pinupuntahan ko po pag may mga tanong ako sa patungkol sa programming. So, what exactly is a polymorphism? Polymorphism is the ability of an object to take on many forms. So, as we all know, sa object-oriented programming, we are more dealing on objects. We create reference to that objects and we use that objects. And the most common use in, of polymorphism in OP is that every time when there is a parent class and the reference of that parent class is used to refer to a child class objects. So, walang sense kung um, i-refer mo na object for the child class is isa lang. So, dapat marami. Kailan later, ma makukuha nyo rin kung anong ibig, uh, kung anong ibig sabihin ko. So, sa polymorphism, it derives from two Greek words, uh, the poly and the morphs. So the word poly means many and morphs means forms. We know that ob object-oriented programming is a powerful concept applied in programming. Uh, with the help of polymorphism, we can actually perform, we can actually do tasks uh, dynamically. Okay, so how do we create objects in Java. So we use the feature called in instantiations. Let's say for example we have a class bird. So to create a reference and the, and the object for that class bird, we use bird xx is equals to new bird. So this is how instantiation works in Java. So but the question is um, where is the object there? Now, asan po dito yung object? So, ang object po dito is si bird. So, coming from a class bird. But the implementation of the class will become object. So, this is the object. And then, how, how did we create the object? So, with the help, with the keyword new. So, this is the special keyword in Java. With this, we can create object bird. Okay? And where exactly is the our reference for that object bird. So our reference is the xx. And every reference, let's say any variable can refer to any values. And that values depending on the reference of that particular reference. So the reference is xx and our data type is the bird. Okay? Okay, andito, andito tayo ngayon sa ating Visual Studio Code. So, may create tayo na upload na files, the implementer, parrot, the eagle, and the bird. So, ano po ang purpose na implementer class ko? Ito po yung, uh, by convention, ito po yung magiging pagsisilbing can opener natin para sa ating program. The idea here is basically the parrot, the eagle, and the bird. Okay, so, um, we have a parrot class having a method fly, uh, implementing fly say yung paro, yung print paro, and then the eagle will also print the same way, but <coughs> not paro, but eagle. Uh, the class eagle also obtains a fly method. And then we have a bird here, so the bird having a uh, two different methods, the fly and the walk. So the fly will print something like bird will fly and then the walk will print something like bird will walk bird will talk oh no bird will walk <laughs> sorry sorry for that so so we have here a parrot and the eagle 
So we, we all do know that parrot and eagle are both birds. So we can say that bird can be their parent. The bird class can be their parent class. So how are we going to do that? So to do to make bird as their parent class, so we, we will use the concept of inheritance. To apply concept of inheritance, we will use uh, the keyword extends in Java. So parrot will extend extends bird. So now the parrot is the child class of the bird class. Also, we will apply to eagle. So now both parrot and eagle are uh, the bird's children. <coughs> and their bird and, and the bird is their parent. Okay. So to implement this code, we will use implementer class. So in polymorphism, we will start declaring or instantiating bird to make reference and object of the bird class. Okay. So this is the prototype. This is how we create object. So bird xx is equals to bird. So we have an object and a reference and a data type. So as mentioned earlier, that the parent class will have a reference, and the reference of that parent class will uh, will be referencing its child classes. So xx is equal to new parent. So now, uh, not just these references um, refer to the parent, but also refer to the parent to its child class. So to call this method, we will use, uh, we will simply invoke through through our references, we will simply invoke the fly method. So to compile this code, we will say this java implementer that java. So we do not have an error. Java implementer. So now we have an output parent. So obviously, this uh, the method of the parrot class has been invoked. So we can also use this reference to refer to another class, not just on parrot, but will refer also to eagle, which is a child class of the bird class. So we'll simply say xx is equals to parrot, okay, and then xx fly. So. I am referring to the fly method of eagle, not on Maro, because prior to this line, I have uh, invoked or I have I have the reference the Maro, not not the oh no, I have reference the eagle, not the Maro. Okay, so invoke this code, implementer, good job. Uh, we'll compile this code first, and then we'll run this code. So now the parrot and the eagle is our output. So obviously the method of the parrot has been invoked and the method of the eagle has been invoked. This parrot and eagle are both classes of our child, a children of the bird. So this is how polymorphism works. Um, we can actually do this uh, List or array method in Java. So we had uh, we can we can use um, a reference, an array reference for different objects in Java with the help of this uh, subscript symbol. We can also apply uh, arrays or list in this type of instantiation. So we will refer parrot as the first index of the reference. So to invoke that method of the parrot, we will just sim uh, simply calling the first index, okay? And then uh, refer to another uh, object called eagle. 
So we can also use this for our Java implementation. Okay. So oh no. So similar output. <coughs> so with this type of coding, we just perform dynamic OP concept with the help of <coughs> polymorphism. So I think that's all. Thank you for watching.